Who should I tell about his sex addiction? You know, when sex addiction hits you as a woman or as a husband, it's the hugest deal in your life. It's the most painful. You've been deeply betrayed. You feel traumatized. You feel isolated and alone. And you may want to reach out to somebody. But who you reach out to can change the story and can change your life. So I want to spend just a couple minutes with you, okay? I'm the president of the American Association for Sex Addiction Therapy. I've been treating sex addicts for over 30 years. I've seen thousands of clients. I'm telling you that because I want you to know what I'm sharing with you comes from decades of experience, okay? Now, hopefully you haven't told anybody yet <laughs> so that you can actually think through this process. So let's talk about who you might reach out to. Your family, his family, bad idea. Because you might forgive them, you might work on the marriage, but they might think you should have divorced that sex addict years ago and they could hold grudges and contempt and disrespect for them for many years. You can't control how other people are going to think. See, you're going to go through a process as a spouse, educate yourself, maybe go through support groups and do the things it takes to work on a marriage after addiction. And I have a whole DVD about addiction after marriage, okay? So you should avail yourself of that. But who do you tell? Family's not the best idea. Not initially. You get a year of sobriety, you want to talk about it, okay, be in agreement if you're going to tell anybody, okay? Friends, same thing. You'll probably lose those friends you tell. So you want to be really careful. Now, you might have a special girlfriend, or if you're a guy, you got a special guy friend that you really trust and you, that you think they can walk with you. I would still take a good month or two, seriously think about it, be prayerful about it, be mindful about it before you just jump. The worst thing you can do is emotionally just tell somebody because you're having a bad day or you want to get even or you want to know that everyone knows that he's the problem, not me, because I've been looking crazy for 30 years. I understand the imbalance of that, but this is not the way to rebalance it, okay? Now, so then you go to your spiritual community. Again, if they are mature and they understand recovery, that might be a very valid place. And it might be a safe place. If it is, you both would intuitively know that and you would know who's safe in that environment to tell, okay? Then, if you're getting professional help, of course, you tell them everything. That's where you should start. If you're in a 12-step support group, they can know because they understand, they get it, they have the education and they understand what you're going through. Those are people you should start with then as you get sober and get your marriage stronger and your relationship stronger, then you should decide on those other situations, okay? And your children. Children don't need to know. Now, if the child was the one who found the pornography or found the affair or found the addiction, well, then they're going to have to have age-appropriate information as you go through the recovery process. But they don't need to know for you to heal, okay? You didn't know all your parents' issues. And again, get stronger, get healthier before you would ever do that. Now, if you're going to be a leader of a support group, you probably got to tell your kids. But short of that, I'll be really mindful because the kids, depending on their ages, their development, they don't need to know that dad's a sex addict or mom's a sex addict. They might hurt their sexual identity and the way they actually do sexuality after that information. So you want to protect your children from this information until you've really walked this out, talked to a counselor, and I wouldn't talk about this. You know, if you're filing for divorce, don't talk about it. After divorce, if you want to talk about it in an age-appropriate way, that might be applicable. But I really want to caution you, do not emotionally tell people. Agree on this, walk through this. If there's someone who can be support, you could probably tell a counselor that, get, their, get the counselor's opinion on that, and be in agreement. And if you can't agree, get a third person that you really trust and let them be the kind of person who decides so that it doesn't become a power struggle between you and your spouse in early addiction recovery.